Today we're going to talk about the A.G. Russell Black Dragon. This one's fresh out of the box. Hasn't been honed or sharpened or anything. All black knife. No, no satin screws or anything. The entire thing is black. Blade is three and a half inches long. And the handle is four and a half inches long. Uh, you, it's got a G10 handle scale here. And on the back is, with the frame lock, is all stainless steel. You can see that there is a stainless steel liner on the inside of the G10 for the extra strength. This knife is constructed with the Featherlight, our Featherlight construction. And what that means is that all the structural points are reinforced with this thickness of the scale, but everything that's not essential has been feathered out and lightened so that the whole knife has the strength of a steel knife, but it has the weight of a, more of an aluminum knife. You can see drop point on the blade there, very wide blade. I have larger than average hands. Um, as I said, it has a frame lock and it has the Rick Hinderer stabilizer. You can see the disc over the frame lock there. The stabilizer prevents the lock from moving too far over. Uh, the stabilizer protects the lock and preserves the lifespan of the lock. I've seen a few comments online wondering whether we have just stolen the Hinderer stabilizer from Rick because we don't print the patent number on there. And now the reason we don't print the patent number is that our, to our knowledge, Rick has not officially gotten a patent, so there's no patent number to print. But uh, we believe that a designer has the rights to receive the rewards for his efforts, so every blade we sell, he gets a royalty for. Um, dual thumb studs either side of the blade and the flipper of course it has a deep pocket clip one of my favorite deep pocket clips it also comes with the regular pocket clip if that is your preference I personally prefer the deep pocket clip which is what it comes with on it it has a detent to keep it from just opening up in your pocket you have to like really actually open it for for it to open it's not going to just fall open the clip can be positioned top or bottom so you can have tip up or tip down carry let me show you how it rides in the pocket here it is in my pocket it just sit, sinks all the way down in there looks like a pin pin clip. I, I, like I said, I prefer the deep pocket clip. Um, I like the tension on the deep pocket, but it's also got that little rise. You see the rise in it right there? That makes it a lot easier for putting it and just slipping it on and off the jeans. So it doesn't have like a ridiculous amount of tension. The tension is down in this dip right there, and that's what holds it there. So that's my preferred clip. The blade steel is 8CR 13 MOV, very popular with our customers, holds its edge pretty well and sharpens well. Alright, let's do some paper tests. I started that one wrong. Let's go over the grips real quick. Has a great, great forward grip, saber grip. You can choke up on it real nice. Get in detail work. Back grip uh, works pretty well. Maybe not the best back grip, but it does have a nice swell and right there, so you you have some pretty good grip on it. Um, it and you, I have pretty, I wouldn't say the biggest hands, but slightly bigger than normal hands. So if you have big hands, this this knife will probably handle most of your most of the hands. You can see it, it has just a little bit more handle right there, and I rest my thumb on it right there. So the backhand grip's pretty good. Foregrip's pretty good. 
Um, definitely could fight with it. It's got the black wash, non-reflective coating, which is nice. Um, it is definitely designed to be more of a utility knife. You can see it's got that wide blade there, pretty thin blade, really thin blade, but you can do some heavy duty stuff and it's got nice, lots of nice belly. If you had to skin with it, you definitely could probably be a little bit harder to clean out the, uh, the inside. You got lots of blood in there, but you know, if you could, if you had to skin with it and that's what your, that was your only choice, it would do the job. But uh, definitely more of like an everyday carry, everyday use type of thing. It's a great little blade. And that, that finishes my review on the AG Russell Black Dragon. Thanks for watching.